and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Azorius control in standard. That's right, we're going back to a draw go control style deck, which we haven't seen very much of in the last few months because of Teferi Time Raveler. It's hard to have a deck that's built around playing cards at instant speed with Teferi Time Ravelers in the format, but this deck is still doing it. Still doing it anyway. So this was a, a 5-0 list from Magic Online that I really wanted to play, especially because the win cons are, are uh, Finale of Glory and Gadwick the Wizened. Gadwick's a card that if you remember during the, the set review, whenever I went through all of the cards in the set and we went through and talked about all of them and how they could be played in standard and everything, I was pretty high on Gadwick the Wizened. I thought that it was a it was a strong card. And um and uh, you know, I didn't know exactly where it would go or anything like that. And you know, we're gonna try it out here in this shell that was made here today. But I I still think that this is this is a really powerful card and and uh, can leave its mark on standard. Because that X is just draw X cards. You know how good Hydrocrasis is? And Hydrocrasis is like X, X, and you draw X cards. So, you know, you have to pay six mana to draw two. With Gadwick, if you play, pay six mana, you draw three. If you pay seven mana, you draw four. Eight mana, you draw five. Like, you know, with Crasis at eight mana, you draw three. With this at eight mana, you're drawing five cards. It's so many cards. You get to draw a lot of cards with this thing. Um, you know, it's Sphinx's Revelation amount of cards. Um... And so I'm pretty excited to play to play this here. Now, of course, it also has the other part. Whenever you cast a blue spell, you get to tap target non-land permanent and opponent control. So you can play some really good defense by playing blue spells on your opponent's turn where you can tap like their their creature that was going to attack. You know, like if they're if they're about to attack with like two creatures, you can play a chemist's insight or an opt and you just tap down one of their creatures. They don't get to attack with it. But yeah, this is kind of old school control is what we got going on here. Um, and so I wanted to try it out and see how see how it does. Um, yeah, so no, no, no midnight clock or anything. Um, the, the one thing, of course, that I, I really want in this deck is, as you all know, I'm just a huge fan of Ashiok in the metagame right now. And I, I would like four Ashioks in the sideboard. But I decided to go with the 5-0 the list and try it out myself. Uh, but I don't know if we need like four decrees and four ether gusts. But oh well, let's let's give us a try. So a lot of counter spells. Absorb, veto, capture, quench, sabotage. You know, we're playing instant speed all the time here. Let's see how it works. Yeah, of course, Krasis gives you a lot, gives you a better body to finish games out. Gives you a better body to finish games out, but the card draw with Gadwick, Gadwick is pretty crazy. Yeah, it's a lot. Yeah, more counter spells than what Simic Flash plays. Simic Flash is <clears throat> they have some counter magic, of course, but. They're also just a, a much more of a creature deck than what this is. All right, Tranquil Cove to start us off, gain a life. Hey, good job, Rockalypse. You're doing the the Demir version, right? I can no longer you threw an Ember Cleave in the in the Demir deck. I am not making this up as I go. All right, well, this this does not look like a good hand for the matchup. <laughs> we we need all of our counter spells here. I I know this would die to Othakaya by minusing. I really should have seen that coming. Sorry, I'm late. Oh, 
I've done both having the backups. Before. I didn't really mind too much. All right, so I'm looking for counter magic. Okay, with the chromatic lantern. Okay, and putting it on on the snake. So yeah, I don't know exactly what our deck's gonna do now. What do we what do we have against Teferi? Game one. Prison Realm. Okay. There's Prison Realm. Um. <clears throat> I don't have counter magic right now though, so I would just be prison realming and then not having anything to really back it up. Let's try this. So I'm just gonna insight. Well, that's unfortunate. Hopefully, yay, they did not take Prison Realm. Yay. This might be a bad idea. No, any anything that tells you that, that you cannot do something, oh, then you just cannot do that thing. So even though this this says you can cast instance, this is saying you cannot, so you just cannot. Um, I could finale of glory here. You know, force them to have a, a sweeper. It's a good chance they have a sweeper, but just kind of force them to. Yeah, let's do that. It kind of takes their next turn. Here we go. So we'll just discard we'll be discarding the essence capture of course. Hey noob, doing good. You got me. All right, so they got five cards over there. Our chemistry's insights should help us keep keep our card count high. I don't want to see a Teferi here, of course. I guess I get rid of the island. Uh, 
Um. Okay. Yeah, Quench can still be okay against a really large, um, a really large dance. And still be good there. Which it looks like that's what my opponent's going with here. Be discarding the Tranquil Cove to be able to draw two again. Yeah, I don't, we're yeah we have not drawn very many of our counter spells. So what do we have in here? Is so we have two absorb, two sabotage, two veto. So there's six more counter spells, and those are all hard counter spells. And there's also two more quench as well. So there's eight more hits that we could have here. Oh no, but I can't. I only have two mana left. Ugh, so there's only four hits. Beto. All right, we hit one of the four. So Gadwick can go one, two. Gadwick time wipe is pretty nice also. So Gadwick can draw one, two, three, four, five. We can draw five with Gadwick and still have a counter spell available. That'll put me up to 10, so I'll have to discard three. Could just time wipe and pass. But then I'm not I'm not doing anything instant speed, I guess, besides castles. How many dances do they usually play? Let's do Three. How many da dances do they usually play? Three. All right, we didn't have another dance there. I feel like I'm going to mill out. <laughs> yeah, I have to worry about Othakaya. I had to stay at five.
Wasn't the best auto tap. I'd rather use the two white sources, but oh well. It'll be fine. All we need is a finale and have counterspell backup. We'll probably be good there. So there's two more finales in the deck. Yep, there's three finale in here. So two more in the deck. <clears throat> we should be fine. Finale. We got seven and three for basics. So there's two islands. I discarded one of them. Yeah, I knew I discarded that plane. So there's one island left in the deck to fetch four. Let's play this castle. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then two. I need so I need more mana before I can finale for ten and have counterspell back up. Now, Kefnet doesn't work super well with this deck because all uh, the spells are counter spells, and Kefnet revealing a, a counter spell doesn't do anything for you. All right, now we got plenty of counter magic for their two spells over there. I can't out counter Dovin's veto though. All right, so I need to kind of speed up a little bit. We're a little bit behind here. Yeah, this is game one. Uh, I've yeah, I've seen I've seen them play veto before. But you know, they veto. We have another finale of glory. Yeah, that's yep. That's what I'm feeling. Like, I I don't think we need to do finale for ten. Um, my opponent just gonna rope. We can do finale for less than that and have a lot of counter spells available in case it's like multiple board wipes. So if I want to keep eight mana available. That means finale for five. So that'd be a two turn clock. My, my opponent's playing Esper Control. <laughs> I don't know why they should be so upset about my deck. It's...
fine. Alright, well, we're looking pretty good. We have one card to draw. It has to be like an un uncounterable spell. Get a Bane Fire. Nah. <clears throat> don't want, you know, like they're just gonna like bounce the Othakaya to try to be lethal. We have to counter that. And then, but they also get to draw a card. And then, like, that card they draw could have been like another Oath of Kaya. Okay. We got seven blue cards to bring on in. Um, we're going to trim one time wipe, but I want the others. Uh, Essence Capture gets to go. Maybe a Gadwick. Teferi's kind of only good at keeping them from countering my counter spells. Quench isn't great in the late game, but Quench is pretty vital at countering Teferi early. So I think we should keep it. Hmm. Maybe maybe you can ditch a land with it going longer. I guess I'll cut one quench. Ah, this is sixty one. Let's get rid of an opt. We need an Ashiok Kaya deck. I can make one of those. Yeah, I, I agree with you, Borderland Ranger. Stacks was good. Like, week one or just, you know, like, immediately whenever people weren't ready for it. But it's a very easy deck to game plan against and be ready for. Yeah, they're probably gonna have a lot of a lot of discard here, thought erasures and duresses. Why Asper is traditionally favored against blue white and just you know, just control mirrors because they have counter magic and discard as opposed to just counter magic. And that's you know like a really broad um, description there, but Have, maybe I, I mean I could have let that resolve and play Prison Realm. Then they could have Doom foretold. I guess Prison Realm isn't the best against Doom foretold. Maybe that's something I should have trimmed on. It's just difficult to face to fairy.
Yeah, not not the best time to be using Dovin's Vetoes, but, you know. Would have been better to have quenches. Could have traded early. I've got time. We're hitting a land pocket. Kind of glad I sided boarded out a land. Just gonna cast that. Um, before you know, I don't. I really don't want that to get countered. Hmm. Well, I wish I didn't cast it. <laughs> Could have let this duress resolve a lot easier. I'll go ahead and upkeep castle and see if we find counter magic. Eh, the fairy's fine. We're gonna have a we're gonna have a longer day today. Playing magic. You let them have it. Well, the thing is, is I mean, they're going to take Sinister Sabotage, so it's it's kind of better just to get the Scry. You know, like they don't they don't get to see, and we get the Scry. Right on schedule. Hey, Anavolver. Two Ds mean a donation deck. Um, I I don't know. Yeah, we're gonna, we're definitely going to be doing metagame challenge stuff. I don't know what decks I'm going to use. I mean, I'm sure I'll play a bunch of decks in it. I, I just found out earlier whenever we started the stream that people were talking about the metagame challenge this weekend. I actually didn't realize that that was a thing. I mean, I, it's a thing every single set, you know. So it's... I knew it was going to be a thing sometime, but I guess I didn't really realize it was this weekend. So I haven't planned anything for it. Yeah, bas I'm almost always happy to be playing Magic. I don't really get, get sick of it. Like, there's, you know, like, you have, like, like, I have, like, my off days kind of thing, like, where, um, you know, like, maybe, like, one day where I don't really want to play, but, but no, I, I, um, I do a pretty good job of, uh, you know, I do, obviously, we're, we're playing a lot during the stream here, but I don't do, I don't play, like, a ton of Magic off stream. I don't very much... I, uh, with streaming every day now. Um, I'll spend a good amount of time building decks for like days that we need to have decks built. But I don't necessarily, so like I don't burn myself out kind of thing. Yeah, I definitely enjoy it.
my only time wiping my deck with the other one being in the graveyard, so I don't love it being at the bottom. I know Good. Ways to you. <clears throat> Good, we get to put some cards underneath. Yeah, I could definitely see the, the Red White Knights deck from yesterday being a good best of one deck. Yeah, I could definitely see that. You know, of course, I haven't played it myself in best of one, but I, I don't really know why it wouldn't work well in best of one. Meditate and prepare. Do that like that to hit the land drop. Now we got double absorb. That's pretty good. I mean, this doesn't. That doesn't really do anything. Counter spells. Doing some work. All right. We get to gain three life. Okay, game's not over. Not over yet. Three, six. I don't need to. <clears throat> oh, no. I guess now I'm going to have to sack this prison realm and they're going to get their murderous rider back. I was like, well, might as well just keep all three counter spells up. But I kind of forgot about the Doom Foretold there. <laughs> with the banning of Field of the Dead eminent in two weeks, I would not agree with that phrase right there. To begin with. Anyway, but what's the rest of it? Uh, do you think it's smart to craft them since they'll likely give us wild cards back like they did with Nexus? Yeah, I, I mean, I think it's perfectly safe to craft them. Because of that. Also, like, so there's, you don't really have to worry. Okay, well, I could have won this game, but we're still do doing just fine. So if I want to keep five mana available, I can make three tokens. That's not really enough. Those who cannot, I have just the trick for this. Affinity deck runs Golos, the the deck we just played two days ago, the Demir deck. We're, we're going to play that deck tomorrow. Maybe I'll play that for the metagame challenge also. Um, yeah, there's definitely a chance that an ancillary card, yeah, like Circuitous Route, this is Growth Spiral, 
something like that could get banned. Not likely. My hand's pretty good. I just kind of need lands. I don't really want to tap land. know if that's worth it, honestly. This is this is kind of like a problem of like when it whenever they just introduced the gain life lands for kind of no reason. Like they have like the gates and the gain life lands together in standard is have has kind of caused this. I feel like if they didn't have both of those, maybe Field of the Dead maybe Field of the Dead wouldn't be oppressive. Like if there just wasn't gates, or if there wasn't gain life lands, also, it's, it's kind of weird that they have both of those type of cards right now. Hey, Dark Claw. I am very happy today too. <laughs> we don't we don't really need to go for finale glory for X is ten. Well, I only have nine right now, but so this attack will put them down to two. So we have lethal this next turn. They can block one, go up to four, and then go down to four. So what do they got with those cards over there? Ugh. We don't have lethal anymore. Oh, yeah. They, had, they could gain a life with that thing anyway. That's kind of weird that they, they had a lot of ways to stay alive, but they just chose to be like, all right, well, I'm dead if they have a counter spell when the the very last turn I discarded a counter spell. Whoa. Well, that's cool. We got a Realm Cloak Giant and a Realm Cloak Giant. All right, well, we got a couple of Realm Cloak Giants. So that must have been the last mastery level. Two uncommons and one mythic. I wonder why I got two mythics. And two uncommons. Was that like the was that like just like the daily the daily reward got upgraded to a mythic? That's pretty cool. Oh, I didn't. It's a visual bug. What? It's a visual bug. I only got one. Lame. All right. Well, it says I have three total now. I don't know how many I had before that. I don't know if I had one or two. I probably had two. Lame. Uh. <sighs> I thought I had gotten double save with the skills. I didn't. I was so sad. Yeah, that is really sad. That's a that's a visual bug they need to get rid of. 
That's a really sad visual bug. I thought for sure I got two round cloak giants there. At least he didn't get 40 gems. At least he got an actual mythic and not 40 gems, so that's good. <laughs> the saddest part is that you all deserve two mythics. Uh -huh. What? Marine's the best? Oh my gosh. Wow, what a huge cheer. Thank you so much. Wow. Everybody get some hype in the chat. That is incredible. Thank you so much, Marines the Best. And yeah, everybody's saying thanks. Sent out everybody got a lot of new emotes. Wow. I have this I have an RPG younger emote now. I have to use. You show Thanks, remorse. Marines the best. Thank I'll you so much. You Don't worry, I got this. No, we have a mirror match. This looks like a mirror match. So obviously we need to get rid of their Teferi. Do they have their own finale for two? No. So unlike Krasis, Gadwick needs to resolve, needs to enter the battlefield to draw the cards. All right, well, looks like we got a mirror. Good old counter Mexican standoff. So countering that the second casting of Chemister's Inside is is basically a two for one because they have to you know discard the quench. Also, let's. 
It's a, I guess, I mean, so you're gonna say, say it's a one for one because it's the second, like they've already cast Chemistry's Insight, so it's like a free card in their hand. So yeah, I guess you can. I guess it's like that. <clears throat> Gadwick is so much fun with Verity Circle in creature matchups. That one, that rotated out, right? I believe that rotated out. I think that was Dominaria. Oh, they added a Mystic Sanctuary to their deck. I don't have one of those. Yeah, they'll get these will get time wiped. But we re refill our hand. We're at seven cards, they're at four. And we can we can put another battlefield that needs to be time wiped out there. It's from Ravnica Allegiance. Okay, so it did not rotate. So whenever a creature an opponent controls becomes tapped, if it isn't de being declared as an attacker, you may draw a card. Okay. Yeah, those two do work really well together. That was really risky. Alright, well, we have... We have lethal here. Okay. They can stay alive. I wonder if they had the land and the opt whenever they cast Gadwick. Yeah, too late for another donation deck today. I'm, fill I'm filled up with donation decks today. Our stream's already going to be going pretty long with just how long these decks are. I'm probably going to be going like an hour, hour and a half over today. Um, I have room tomorrow except for the first slot is taken up. Oh, sorry. Uh, I was just attack. I was just talking. I didn't attack. Oh no! I click no attackers. Uh, my bad. My bad. <laughs> well, you're welcome, opponent. I wanted to keep them at seven. All right, I get a punt for that. So do they have a counter spell to go with the time wipe? Unfortunately, I only have one counter spell over here because I got a bunch of time wipes. Yeah, I was, I was playing around Settle. Ugh. Now I don't have lethal anymore. Gain life land.
Cause I'm the straight and narrow. Listen all the time. All right, remember to attack. That's good. I don't want you gaining life. Okay. We got there. Again, I can see playing all 66 of these. Yeah, I think we would just want the like all the counter spells. It's possible Narset's not really needed. Well, I should probably play Narset. All right, this is sixty-two. Cutting a land, 61. We're almost there. Almost there. Back to 61. Let's see. Yeah, I'm going to take out another Gadwick. Because Gadwick has to resolve to like draw like the cards and everything. And so, no, there's no Mystic Sanctuary in here. It'd be nice to have a bunch of Ashioks to go to board in. Let's see. Yeah, sorry, Gadwick. I know. Land. We're not in a good spot in the control mirror if you just miss land drops. That's kind of what control mirrors are about or who can keep it in lands. So in that sense, siding out the land is risky. Probably want to insight.
Would have liked to draw the Lana Bell to to Fairy or Narset plus Dispute. The problem with playing something is they get to counter it, and then if they just untap and play Teferi, we're kind of dead. They just kind of uh, they just counter whatever I play, untap, play Teferi with counter magic. No, we're not gonna win this with three mana. Okay, there we go. They keep putting a bunch of cards on top. It's probably not a good sign for me. Yeah, I, I'm not sure what our odds are of, you know, missing on lands all this many draws. Not good. Getting punished for um, Getting punished for siding out of land. It was just one land. It's a fetch land also, which takes a land out of the deck. We have a lot more cards than our opponent. So if we keep trading one for one, that's good. Um, thought process was just that the game was going to go really long. And so maybe we didn't need all of our lands if the game was going to go really long. Maybe we didn't need every single one. No, no. Probably should probably should discard Quench. <laughs> hey Wander. Uh, 
don't know if I agree with that. It's unfortunate I put any other card down to the bottom. But Dovin's Veto is just too good. Where's the land? There's the land. Found it. Probably should discard a quench instead of finale. It's kind of like whoever's going to miss land drops is going to be like the first person that needs to act because they'll be going to discard. But with that being said, we both have the castle, so it's like we're not going to miss land drops. <laughs> well, I'm glad to hear that, Matthew. I'm glad to hear... Yeah, glad to hear that you have some good sound and headphones there. Hey, what's up, Storm? Doing good today. We're going to have a long stream today, it looks like. Uh. Whoa. Well, I know the bottom of my library is loaded. <laughs> Usually you like look and you scry a bunch of lands down to the bottom. Usually. So it's not worth picking a fight over this because they have to go to discard. Castle's perfect. So if I pick a fight over it, it just allows them to get value out of like a card out of a card that they would have to discard otherwise. All right, how are we doing on time? All right, we're up two minutes on time. That's good.
<laughs> you know you're in for a treat when Todd asks, how are we doing on time in game two? <laughs> that was a good draw. We're in a good spot here, having this castle. We're in the driver's seat. Isn't it amazing? You just don't have to play any spells ever, and now we're suddenly in the driver's seat after being really far behind. Here we go. White Castle. Opponent doesn't want to fight over it. We're 2 0. Defeat of the Mirror. I guess my opponent is not playing White Castle. We probably should. There we go. It's all because of Marines the best, for sure. Giving us that luck. It looked, you know, for, for so long, it looked like we weren't going to win that game being on three lands for so long. <laughs> That's the, the new movie, the new summer blockbuster. Is Todd and Hawkeye go to White Castle? <laughs> Where's Hawkeye? He's curled up. You can't quite see him. He's right behind the table, curled up on the couch. Thanks, Navy Seals. Thank you. Losing to the timer. Yeah, I had, I definitely like checking and seeing seeing that we were up two minutes on the timer. Yeah, timer. Timer can get you with a deck like this. Gotta be. Gotta be ready for that from the beginning. All right, I won't go to Guantanamo. <laughs> You would think this game would go by faster, but you never know. You never know. They're going to get a bunch of food tokens. They're going to gain a lot of life. Maybe I just won't be able to kill them. My tie's a bit off. Did I draw a card or no? There. I wasn't paying attention. I know it's up to up to one. I did not. Okay, I wasn't exactly sure how that worked, because you know you could you can choose zero, but I guess if if you choose a target and then that target goes away, it fizzles. Does the tie look any better? I got this. How do I like midnight clock in the deck? I think it's not too slow. <laughs> when the target fizzles, you don't, sadly. I don't know if it's sadly. Safari doesn't need any help. Might be a bad idea. <laughs> I 
Yuck. I've learned a bunch of new burn spells to try on you. Ooh, a bunch. Oh, they're so cute. If they're so cute, why are you going to put them in the oven? Enough. Follow in the sideboard to beat against Field of the Dead. I, I would just, I would just much rather have Ashiok, honestly. Ashiok's just awesome, but I, I guess like one Folio can do enough milling, or you maybe, no, I, I think just Ashiok's the way to go. Do they just not? They didn't Let's sacrifice one to the oven, did they? I just realized they didn't do that. I'll protect you. Gadwick's performing good so far. Yeah, Gadwick's been strong. All right, Reaper's in there. Oh, I could have, I could have quenched. I was thinking I needed a three mana spell. Six. I've done the hero thing before. Yeah, I mean, Ashiok in this metagame is just the card to play, basically. But, um, you know, like, because, you know, metagames change. So even if I didn't like Ashiok in the past, in, like, past metagames, Ashiok's kind of too good to not play right now. Well, that didn't pan out. Um, I don't... I don't think Lavinia's really good enough as a cyborg card right now. Um, I think you can if you want to play Lavinia like I think the reason to play Lavinia or like the spot to play Lavinia I don't I don't think it's worth it in the sideboard anywhere but I think it could be worth it in a in a main deck of like a hero deck like Jeskai or Esper hero I think that's where you could fit Lavinia in I've got and it. shut down some turn two Wokos and some Fires of Invention. <clears throat> well, yeah, so at the time I just had the one finale. I mean, now I have two, but I kind of wanted it to be a little bit bigger. But now, you know, we have a second finale, so I'm definitely, I'm firing off a finale now. And, like, you know, like, they just attacked Teferi for three. Teferi's at four. Like, Teferi could take that hit. It's not like that attack was critical that we needed to block or anything. Could have Legion's End, which would be annoying. Could go. To, I could go for five, and then not have to worry about Legion's End.
and have Vito available. But we have a backup anyway if they do have Legion's End. Got another oven. Need some more cooked meals over there. So I might as well wait on this finale. Maybe we'll just wait for 10. Like this game, this game's just over. My opponent agrees. So we're obviously bringing in the decrees. We could go gust also. Gust is only red spells. Um, yeah, I, I just don't think the deck needs a mana rock. And, yeah, by the time you have your, your tokens, like, you're doing good. See, I don't think, so it doesn't really need Heraldic Banner. I don't think either of those, like, the, the plus one on your token, plus one to the power of your tokens or the mana rock part, I don't think either one are especially important. What's up, Meaty Ogre? Thanks to the tier one sub. I appreciate that. That's our third sub of the day. Hmm. 61. I'll take out a veto. No, I, I don't know exactly what I'm going to do the, the Orzhov control list yet, no. Um. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'd say, like, the earliest would be Sunday. Probably like yeah, probably like the earliest would be Sunday. It's not not gonna be today or tomorrow, or sorry, tomorrow or the next day. That's unfortunate. I really wanted to decree this kitty cat. Getting another swamp. We don't have to worry about three mana Chandra. This next turn. Hey Jack, yeah, you liked liked the artifact aggro deck yesterday. Cool. I'm I'm definitely I'm playing the Demir. Um the Demir artifact deck tomorrow again. How did Boros Knights do? It it did well. It got the five wins. Um, we played against some opponents that didn't put up a ton of resistance, but then also it just won games very quickly as well. Hmm. 
This is not great because of this witch's oven. <laughs> if it wasn't for the oven, we would have this pretty easily. But that oven is stopping my removal spells. I do decree. No, I need to, I need to land here. Hey, had had Hayash. Welcome to the stream today. So yeah, I need to land there so they they I cast that just like that. They sack their Ayara and then I play land and decree the familiar. Why can't we just draw fourth land? Oven. All right, hopefully we draw lands this next game. I guess like, I guess that's like one thing, one good thing Teferi could do is could bounce the oven so that then we could counter it. Yeah, Bantu does does work pretty well with food. Come on. Come on. There you go. Alright, well they have the oven. It's Gonna say it's not so bad. Like the oven's not so bad if they don't have a cat, but they have a cat, so we're in a lot of trouble. Because you know, we sure we counter the cat. The cat comes back though. Gadwick is nice though, because Gadwick, you know, blocks cats. So Gadwick's nice. And Gadwick can tap the oven also. And then we can decree the familiar.
<clears throat> yeah, rope. Yeah, he could play a realm cloak giant instead of a time white for an alternate win con. I do like time white plus Gadwick a lot though. Like that's pretty cool. But obviously, realm cloak giant can be good on its own too, as just being a seven seven. So, so I, I don't mind that at all. Why does my opponent got to have removal for my my Gadwick? I like my Gadwick. So looking for another Gadwick, looking for white finale. True, I won't. This wasn't part of our contract. Thanks, Ledro. Uh, most most of the decks are created by me, yeah. Not all the time. This this deck was not created by me. This was a 5-0 list. The Soul Type mid-range deck that we're going to be playing up next, so that was a viewer-submitted list. That's a donation deck. The other two were <clears throat> donations for me to build the decks, and so I, I built those two decks, the third and fourth decks for today. But yeah... A lot of them are built by me, but not all of them. One card left. I don't really see the downside of playing this. Uh, no new codes for a little while. Like they had, they had like the time like where you could, where there was like a, a couple of codes for some card styles. Like for like the one weekend, like there was like a, there was like a twenty four hour only co like codes. Those are gone, but I don't, I don't think if there's any since then. Yeah. Yep. This. Yeah. This list has Gadwick. Yep. Good. Ah, uh, you missed him. Yeah, it was like a 24-hour thing for just a few, a few codes there. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of like just having one weekend codes, but you know, it is what it is. Yeah, as, as just like I talked about during the the set review, I really like. Gadwick, I think Gadwick's a really strong card. Just takes a little time to, you know, start seeing get. You know, it's not the kind of card that you're just like, oh, I, I immediately know what to do this with this card week one. All right, they're down to seven. I'm going to opt here, see if we find Devout Decree for this familiar. I guess we have the mana to try that again. 
All right, nope, no familiar. Or no decree for that. Sothian with a happy, happy anniversary. 12 month streak there. Thank you so much there, Sothian. I appreciate that. Thank you very much, Sothian, for, for that continued support for an entire year. Uh, thank you. We have not played against Golos yet. So I'm not, not exactly sure how our deck fares against Golos. It's our third match. We played against Esper Control, and then we played a mirror match. <laughs> and then now we're playing against Practos. All right, Storm, you just played a match yourself with this deck. Gadrick's tap down ability is insanely good. Oh, yeah. It is. It is very good. <clears throat> That's a good sign there. Storm likes the deck. Threes. Uh, so we're a little ways away from finale. <laughs> yeah, when your opponent casts a free combat, you counter it and then tap. You know, counter tap. That helps you out. Gadwick with two for two would mean I'd only have like just one counter spell up. I want to I want to be able to have like the two hard counters up, you know, like not counting really quench here with how much mana my opponent has. So I want to be able to have I want just I just want sabotage and essence capture, and so then I'd have to go Gadwick for one, and I don't know, it's not very exciting. I could I could have like finaled for two, but again, not very exciting. I'm just gonna you know activate castle here. We're in a we're in a good spot. This is just a very patient deck here. I want to land. All right, so I could uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <clears throat> so we have nine right now. Can't quite finale for ten. I'm gonna Gadwick for three. And I still have my two hard counters up. This only hits creatures and planeswalkers, does not get rid of the oven. We can just tap the oven now, which is pretty cool. Yeah, I'm going to try to finale for 10 before my opponent scoops, hopefully. Mm-hmm. 
So they have two damage right now. Like, it's, can my opponent do 10 damage to me? Like, I... I may... Like, I just wanted to do this finale, but maybe I really need to counter that Mayhem Devil. That's eight. This thing puts me down to seven. Yeah, 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 finale for 10, you just get 10 angels and 10 soldiers. So, like, Legion's End doesn't help. Uh, they did not draw. I just wanted to do that. All right, we did it. Yeah, you thought the soldiers became angels? Uh, no, you just get, you just get 10 angels as well. <laughs> it's pretty ridiculous. Yeah, that's what, that's what I was thinking. If we lost it, probably would have been worth it. Okay. Two hours in. We finished three matches. Good deck if you're trying to rank up fast right here. Cause that's that's pretty good. Um only only two hours for three matches, you know, like that's you know, less than one for one. Yeah, you can rank up flat fast. You can Hit plat by December. <laughs> you play aggro and you only play aggro in paper tournaments, you get a chance to eat. Uh, I don't think you're alone with that. All right, so we got Time Wipe against the green deck, which is probably good. We need to draw lands. Good. What do you what do you mean, Zedalam? This isn't a fight you can win. Sure it is. Here goes nothing. Only time will tell. What if they play a Teferi and bounce my prison realm? So much Fable Passage.
the Fable Passage like sound and sound is quite a long one. <laughs> hey, play control for a, a diet to lose weight because you don't have time to eat. So do I do Gadwick for two? I feel like it. So I can pick up Gadwick again with the time wipe. Hopefully my opponent's out of Teferi's. They've already played two. Oh, <laughs> when I was talking about a fast rank up deck. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was not quite an accurate statement. But who knows? If, if you never lose, you know, maybe it's, maybe it is a fast rank up deck if you don't lose. Opponent's playing pretty slowly over there. They're already almost three minutes behind. This is a match where the, the time could come into play. You never know. No, I don't think Teferi will get banned. Krasis is annoying, of course, because even if we counter Krasis... They get to draw all their cards. They don't get to draw as many cards as Gadwick draws, though. No, I, I don't think anything's getting banned. I think the only realistic card that could possibly get banned is Field of the Dead, but I don't think that it will. I mean, it, it was very easy to see coming that Field of the Dead was going to be really powerful after rotation. So... Like, the fact that they just had nothing at all in Throne of Eldraine, like, no hate cards for Field of the Dead whatsoever in Throne of Eldraine, and then, and then they just ban it, like, that seems odd. Why are they going five here and not six? Do they not have a fetchable land? Do they only have, like, two basics in their deck? With two Fable Passage? That'd be kind of ridiculous. Ah. Uh, they want to wait and have instant speed tokens. That makes sense. I guess I should have done this in response. Maybe see if we find... Like, I could have maybe drawn Quench and quenched the Krasis. <laughs> uh, obviously, I drew Quench. Like, the very first card was Quench. Obviously. Yeah, Gadwick is good.
Would have made my life easier just to quench the crisis. Every land drop is going to be three two twos now. It's a little rough. It's like Standard cards just don't really get restricted ever. So I don't, I don't think there's going to be any kind of re restricting. It just doesn't happen. They don't want to try to, you know, explain that at FNMs and stuff and try to police that. Maybe I shouldn't keep the Gadwick. They don't want to try to ex be like. Try to try to police like policing that is tough. It's like, you know, somebody could play it's I guess it's the same thing if somebody's playing five copies of a card, but you know, like maybe they play three copies of a card. If you're saying like restrict it to be a two of. You know, maybe they have three and maybe you don't really see the third. I don't know. That's just something that does that doesn't really happen in standard. No, no, there's there's no chance they do anything like Field of Ruin is now legal and standard. No, they no, there's no no chance of anything like that happening. I want to discard that Gadwick. <laughs> All four Field of the Deads? Come on. Just makes it really difficult because it really, really puts pressure on my time wipes. You know, I only have three time wipes in the deck. I guess it's possible it could ban Growth Spiral or Circuitous Route, but it's not likely. That's it's that's a lot less likely than banning Field of the Dead. They don't want to just ban one of those two cards and then Field of the Dead still dominates and they didn't really do anything. If the only reason to to have a banning is to stop something up that's very oppressive. Doing this to have a blocker because all these two twos. <laughs> they can't. You can't just reprint sinkhole right now.
Yeah, that's that's our road. Finality for 10. So we're at 7 right now. Next turn's 8. We're in a rough spot, though, because we can't just time wipe every single turn. This this is them just drawing four Field of the Deads. It is really, really rough. We need more land. I only have one more time wipe in the deck. It's that one in my hand right now. It's the only other one. No, I don't have any Bond of Insider mission briefing to to get more. I mean, we just we need lands. Are we casting this trying to hit land drops? Come on, we need two lands. Lands. Okay, there's one. So next turn, three, six, nine, ten. We can we can finale for ten if we hit this land drop. Come on, deck, draw land. Come on, deck, draw land. I mean, it's not land or dead because we, we just have to finale for nine if we don't. Like we just have to cast finale. So it's just unfortunate. We just have to waste this finale for nine. <laughs> we drew so many cards. Why can't we get that extra land? Uh, I didn't. Yeah, I didn't discard any lands. That hurts. No, I mean I have to, I didn't have a land last turn, so I had I had a Gadwick to to keep drawing lands. I had to you know hit a land off of the Gadwick. It's another eight tokens. Could you just not draw eight tokens? Let's just draw it. Just draw a finale. There. I love this attack. It's a good attack for me because I just get I get an extra block with Gadwick. They just wait a turn. Like all these two twos are trading anyway, but now I just get an extra block with Gadwick. The very next card was the land. The very next card. So they have eight. I have three. I could have four.
The very next card was that land that we needed. The next three cards. These are all lands now. Cast a spell. It would have been easier if they would have cast a spell and we got to absorb it. And tap something. Gain three life. But I'm not dead because they made that attack. If they just if they just waited a turn and then attacked out because my Gadwick got to block twice, I would have been dead. I have to have all four of these. Looking for another finale. It's only going to be finale for four now. It's not going to be big enough. Dang. Our other two finales were down in the bottom 18 cards somewhere. Both down to the bottom 16 cards. We were so close to winning that I needed one extra land, but you know, our lat, like, you know, then we start finding all the lands after that. Yeah, we were that one land away with the, the finale. We couldn't quite hit the 12th land drop. And of course, immediately afterwards, it's just like all lands. <laughs> hmm. See, this is where I feel like the deck should just have four Ashioks. Narset stops them from drawing a lot of cards with Krasis. Yeah, Deputies would also make a lot of sense. I could definitely see not playing for Decree for Ether Gust and having some Deputies in the sideboard to be able to exile zombies, pick up with Time Wipe kind of thing. Deputies would make a lot of sense as well. I'm going to play two Narsets, one over a Prison Realm and one over a Teferi. Land Destruction deck with Fires. That sounds pretty sweet. I 
Yeah, all the four mana land destruction cards with fires. You're going to have to have, have, to have enough card draw as well. And sweepers, because you're playing so many cards that don't affect the battlefield. Fairy formation, 5 mana, creature, 5-4 five, flyer, pay 4, create a creature to token with flying and draw a card. I'll just, I think the finales are going to be a lot more powerful than that. Playing, playing creatures is, is a downside. Don't want to have too many creatures. Um... Need to keep hitting land drops. I would like to play Teferi, but I don't want them just a circuitous route. All right, come on deck, draw another land. Let me play Teferi. And have veto available. I should probably just dispute that. Hmm. Playing Teferi does mean, I guess, a Golos would be pretty rough. Maybe you should wait one more. Hey, Nari Nen. Okay, so the Triska Decaphobia, 13 months. That's a fun standard card. Why does my opponent have to naturally draw all these Field of the Deads? Can they just not draw those? That'd be nice, okay? Just just don't. I'm known for my excellent timing. Trust don't draw all those. Why aren't the ley lines good enough? Um, I don't know. I'm just. I don't know why. They, like, I don't know why they didn't make strong enough ley lines. But you know, a, a ley line is is a card that you know you get to put it in, into play for free, but it's an enchantment that. You know, it is it is just an enchantment with an effect, so it's it's basically like playing for a, a planeswalker passive ability. So you have to like that has to be worth a card um, for you, and it's not always the case. Yeah, I think green ley line is the best because it's the easiest to be pro. To be the most proactive with that card. Blue Ley Line just gets shut down so bad by Teferi.
Yeah, and then there's there is just a lot of sweepers for the red ley line. I've got time. I'm getting too old for this. All right, Fairy's going to be dying here. Here we go. Yeah, I could cast Time Wipe to save Teferi, but... <clears throat> I'll just wait, I guess. They could have, like, Veil of Summer that Teferi is shutting down. If I cast Veil... Or, sorry, if I cast Time Wipe, I have two... Mana left, so I don't get to counter. Golos. All right, we're working our way up. You know, again, we're just trying to hit 12 land drops and then play finale for 12. Or, for you know, finale for 10. That's the goal. No, I don't have any Ashiox. Wish I did. Yeah, they just naturally had the two Field of the Deads, and they've just naturally had just all these lands. It's kind of bad. I, I want them just to have a lot of spells. They haven't seemed to have any problem continuing just to play lands. They run out. I don't want them to draw lands. I want them to draw spells. That's the hard part about Field of the Dead, having having cards that trade with lands. Like our cards trade with spells. Cards don't trade with lands. So I need one more land before I can finale. And then yeah, there's a, there's definitely a good chance they have a sweeper if I just try finaleing and not have a, any counter spells back up. Very good chance they have a sweeper. Yay, they stopped playing lands, maybe. Maybe stop playing lands. Maybe they just realized that eight was enough power to put out there.
yeah, I mean that yeah, that would definitely be the the best would be a Teferi to finale at their end step. Good negate. Good negate. Very. Let's slow this down. No, I am not making. All right, so I have everything I need for a finale for ten at their end step with Dovin's veto backup. <laughs> I think we got this one. Oh, I guess I needed to counter that. Right. Hmm. Okay, maybe I didn't. Okay, well. I guess I needed to counter that, Veil of Summer. I kind of I just checked out and was just like, that doesn't draw a card. And just kind of forgot about what it's doing over there. I've done the hero thing. All right, well, I was too confident and messed up. Do we think that one last card is a sweeper? <laughs> Do you think their one last card is a sweeper? Yeah, I mean, I'm definitely going for it. No, I am not making this up as I go. Here we go. Hmm. Looks like it was a sweeper. Wow, I messed this up. Yep, yep, I messed it up. Should have countered at Veil of Summer. Yep, yep. I got cocky. That was pretty awesome, like, last cards to have there with Veil of Summer to Fairy. Let me 
mean, it's very, you know, it, it got me. Not much else to say. So... Open mind. I've got it. So they can make another three zombies by going and getting a basic here. So they can, they have eight blockers. <clears throat> they have eight blockers. I have nine attackers. So I have just enough to take out to fairy. And thankfully my creatures have vigilance. So I'm not going to die to, you know, if they just like, let all of this happen. I'm not dying to a backswing. So I have what two more two more finales in here. So we need to find another finale. I I only have 19 cards left in my library. I'm gonna need another finale. Or, or a time wipe. I have two time wipes still also, so I have two time wipes, two finales. <clears throat> I have enough mana to insight plus one counter spell. They're at 29 cards. They have a lot more cards than I do. I'm down to 19. And yeah, they're down to just the three cards. We don't have to worry about Krasis with Narset in play for now. They don't have red mana to go along with Golos. We don't have to worry about any kind of like negates because we have Teferi in play. Yeah, they're down to seven minutes. They've been playing quite slowly. What am I at? I'm at 12. Just have their... Just drawn their fourth field of the dead. Why not? They got one with the Golos. So I guess there's that. Alright, so we know all those bottom cards are not... I've got time. We know all those bottom cards are not finale. So we have two finales in the next 11 cards. We're gonna win like I'm set up again, I'm playing better. We're we're definitely winning this game. So my opponent has six and a half minutes to win a game three. Which is not a lot of time. So it's kinda of better for us to 
not actually draw our other finale right away. They, of course, don't get to draw any cards because of Narset. Trust me, I have a plan. Don't really want to mill out. I don't know if, don't know if Gadwick really helps. In this scenario. Gadwick can help against that, I guess. One man short for finale for 10. Oh, an untapped land. more like it all right so if i go finale for 10 that'd be the six and the four and then two more and so we'd have four mana left over so i'd, I'd have enough mana for double veto so now they have five minutes to kill me in game three Unfortunately, I don't. I don't have sabotage plus veto available. Unfortunately, so like deputy of detention is a problem. You have lethal opponent. You can just attack me. You know. I could just No, nah, we we got two of them. We have a backup anyway if this doesn't work for some reason. Isn't isn't confusing or anything how they have this set up. All right, game three. We're on the draw.
I want Yeah, Arena's getting really laggy for me here. <laughs> We're gonna need to reset Arena. Because yeah, this has been just a really long league. Need to make sure to have good good early defense. So I'm getting getting the <clears throat> some of these quenches back in on the on the draw. I don't like having the two Gadwicks in hand. But I like I really like having the veto though. And the time wipe's good for sure, also. I didn't know that. So Arena can auto assign stacks of blockers if you click on the number next to your stack of creatures, then click on the creature stack. I did not know that. Narset's out on the draw. Basically, Narset is to like keep Krasis from drawing extra cards, and with four minutes and being on the draw, I'm more I'm more worried about my opponent going under me. And Narset doesn't stop that. Narset doesn't really doesn't help me not die to creatures. I'm not too worried about my opponent drawing an extra two or three cards off of a, a late Krasis with this much time on the clock. Doesn't necessarily mean they have Veil, because yeah, because of once upon a time, you could just have that. I assume if they have Veil, they just wait a turn for Teferi. Really could have used... Really could have used an untapped land here. I guess I, I could have Fabled Passage on turn one. I guess I should have Fable Passage on turn one and been able to shock. Sabotage Golos. Tutu's not going to kill me. We don't need to keep the that removal spell. We need lands. Okay. 
So I, I could definitely just go Gadwick for two with the plan of going time wipe, time wipe kind of thing. Like time wipe, pick it back up. It wouldn't be bad. Maybe keeping my mana up here, though, maybe um, kind of scares my opponent. But with them having two minutes, they shouldn't really be scared of anything. Hey, Project Vanner. Darn, did not hit Mystical Dispute. Well, I'm just not getting rid of this Teferi. Right on schedule. <laughs> I did get rid of my Prison Realms. One's in the graveyard. The other's down at the bottom. I got this. There are three in the deck. I'm pretty sure I have all three in right now. Seven cards right now. Might as well just do this for two. Get this thing in. It's going to be difficult for my opponent to kill me in 90 seconds. With having a double time wipe. When you if you run out of time you lose. Here goes nothing. Well, that was that was a really good turn for my opponent. They got you know two field of the deads in play. It's a good start. Took up a third of their time, though. This might be a bad idea. Is that lethal? 12? If they have another one of those, I'm dead. So close. They had another one of those because then they would have made two more creatures to fairy bounces Gadwick. I would have been dead. All right, four no. Let's reset arena. This deck's taking a while to play. So we're going to reset Arena. It's getting laggy. GG's. <laughs> yeah, my opponent ran out of time. You still get... Yeah, the animations... You know, and, and Arena, you know, it can get laggy for sure, but 
that's just something you have to understand. It gives you so much time. Having 30 minutes, um, whenever, you know, that doesn't even count, you know, like you don't have to shuffle with arena. It doesn't count sideboarding. It's so much time compared to like paper magic where you only have 50 combined and all the shuffling and sideboarding and everything's in there. It's like if, if you run out of time here, you kind of deserve to lose. They give you so much time. I did. I did, Michael. Not actually. No, I, I won a tournament with blue black control. I haven't. I don't. Don't think I won one with blue white. Maybe I did though. Also, I don't remember. I know I've won one with blue black. That was in Indianapolis. It was on my birthday. Alright, we're gonna have Fabled Passage turn one this time. Looks like Rakdos again. <laughs> um, I guess the problem with doing this is the castle's gonna come into play tapped also. Everything comes into play tapped. Yeah, we're expecting cats, with there being an oven. Hopefully we draw land here. Hmm. I'm sure my opponent's saying the same thing though. I guess with time wipe time. and like these things, I guess I don't necessarily need to hold up counter magic. I guess we'll just throw that thing out there. Here we go. Too many good cards. So yeah, they, they have to be red black. That's be like the deck that we're playing before. So we're gonna bring in decrees. <sighs> what else did I do? I think I took out a veto and the Teferis. It's fine. <laughs> My opponent just lost a one Teferi. Well, now now we're gonna cut him. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna play the Demir artifact deck tomorrow. Yeah, planning on running it back tomorrow. Yeah, that's I'm excited to play that one. Yeah, I didn't go with the final boss music here. Our, our playlist, the final boss playlist, is a little short, and with this, with how long this deck takes to win. There's a cat. I have I got my Halloween tie in the mail today or yesterday I guess. But so we got so I'm going to I have a Halloween tie. I'm going to wear it for Halloween and I also ordered 
because of Storm's idea. I or ordered a little uh, witch's hat for Hawkeye. Hawkeye can wear a little witch hat. <laughs> I don't know how excited he'll be about it. Maybe he'll really like it. Who knows? Uh, yeah, I guess it could be a wizard hat. I don't know. Either way. Go the. Could be a wizard hat. Like our chances here. This, no, Prism Realm's not a better Conclave Tribunal. It is in a deck when you're not playing creatures. If you're playing a lot of really cheap creatures. Con you'll want to go Conclave Tribunal because you because the Convoke you can play it for you know zero maybe one mana, and so you want to go you want to go with it then. So it's not necessarily that. Prison Realm is just better. And that that's a that's a very good point there, yeah. Tribunal. You can exile. Um other permanents that are bothering you, like a witch's oven or something. Where prison realms only getting creatures and walkers. Anyone need a match? No. Too bad. Don't worry. I brought company. The Gadwick's gonna die anyway. I, I discard I discarded that time wipe earlier. I feel pretty bad about that right now. Kind of dead here, Hawkeye. That was an awesome turn for my opponent. Oh, it got duressed. Ugh. You excited about your wizard hat, Hawkeye? Year and a half for Halloween? Hmm. 
Hmm. We have to just, just do four damage with those. They're just doing them to me. My opponent could do six damage to me next turn with the the Chandra triggers, then Judith Familiar. So if I if I just play the Tranquil Cove, I'm dead. Like I I'm pretty dead. Like my It's unfortunate because like Gadwick is like a good way to to dig towards a time wipe. But I need to do that. Go get him, buddies. So I need to get above six, because my opponent has six damage here. So so not to have lethal. Basically, I just need Prison Realm. I don't think I have any outs besides Prison Realm. So I can play the Tranquil Cove this turn. Okay. We're getting out of here. We're starting to get out of this. Slowly. Mm. <clears throat> that Fable Passage is rough. That extra damage. That hurts. That really hurts. Yeah, I have to... Yep, I have to get rid of the Judith also before... Like, I, I can't time wipe right now. No! Ugh, I need that finale. Because, like, ugh. I could have finale next turn and made a bunch more blockers, and, you know, I could just sit back and chump block these Mayhem Devils. Ugh, I need that finale. Do I have a bunch of those? Oh my gosh! Oh, I forgot that that triggered there. No, I was playing so well. Ugh. Okay. 
Ugh, I was playing so well. I oh, see. I wanted to shuffle before I did like these two scries here. Darn. But I could have avoided that two damage though instead of shuffling. Could have just discarded that land to the to another insight. Man, I played that so well until then. <laughs> awesome. Thanks, Matthew. Yeah, I'll check that out later. Adorable kitten photos on Discord. Ugh, so close. All right. Well, game three. I certainly hope we win this game. I don't necessarily want to play another match of this game, or another match with this deck. It's already 6.30, and this is still the first deck. So I don't really want to play another match of the deck, so I really hope we win this one. <laughs> yeah, this was supposed to be the last deck from yesterday, but, you know, there's only like, you know, it's like nine... 9.30, 9.40, something like that. And, and I was like, this deck's going to take a while. I probably shouldn't play this right now. I'll maybe sitting here till midnight. I missed a land drop. Is adorable little kitten. Good draw there with on tap lands. Get to draw a couple more with Gadwick. We can pick Gadwick back up. Back up Gadwick. I'll just save the life. Yeah, 
Yeah, my opponent took the chemistry's insight with the duress. I don't think they're going to ban any card in standard. Alright, I do not want to block with this one, though, because I do want to pick it up. Pick it back up with Time Wipe. Good against Chandra. Should probably keep it. I uh, wanted land. Preferably. Okay, not bad. I like drawing that land there where we can hold up Insight or Sabotage. So, like, that that Wrinkle drawing us that extra card, I think, helped. And I can... I can have Sabotage available. They got something we need to counter. If not, we got Insight, draw some more cards, hit more, hit more land drops. So it looks like we're in a good spot. We'll see what they got, though. I cannot let that resolve. That could do a lot of damage. We're at nine little lives. <laughs> we don't really need to tap a food token. You don't have to. Oh, I guess you do. You do have to tap these things. <sighs> this is trouble. I can't target the land.
So it's like I could Ether Gust the Mayhem Devil right now and shuffle the Mayhem Devil back, but like that's like a, a neat trick that we can do at a different point, but the, the Mayhem Devil is dying there, so I just don't need to do that. Very fast take on that finale. Can I put it bottom? Crack the passage while it's safe. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven. Could have done four to keep a counter spell up if we drew a counter spell, but that's only four cards. Okay, so our four cards we would have found a counter spell. I'm just getting the seven. There we go, brand new hand. Gadwick's Revelation. Got us the 5 0. Oh. This deck's strong. This deck felt pretty strong. Um, <laughs> three, three quality hours there for the 5 wins. <clears throat> Yeah, this deck felt pretty strong. I mean, Finale of Glory and Gadwick are, are two really good win cons. Um, I think the only, you know, it's like, like the only complaint I really have about the deck, honestly, is the the field map matchup is, is kind of rough. You know, like, we won that one on time. If it didn't go to time, would we have won? Maybe not. We may have lost that game three. Who knows? Like, my, my opponent just timed out, though. It was going to still take a while to, you know, determine a winner. Um, I think that we could have better sideboard against Field of the Dead. I think that, that uh, at, yeah, Ashiok and Deputy would be cards to add here. Um, I think I would not play. I think we can get rid of a Narset and two ether gust two decree can you get rid of that many and then have three ash ashiok two deputy because deputy is going to be deputy kind of replaces devout decree there it'll still be a spell that'll be useful against red decks and everything I think that's what I would I would try. Um, playing it the next time. Could also just simply see playing a deputy in the main deck. If you if you want you know if you want a third decree or third gust if you know if you you know like if you want a third one of these cards, I could see playing a deputy in the main deck maybe over like the essence capture. Um, I don't know our, our three mana slots pretty filled up anyway though I mean Gadwick's not really a three Gadwick's like a, a four plus but you could play on three um but yeah so there we go all right uh so that's Azorius control yeah we'll get we'll get out of here <laughs> over three hours we, we got to move on here if you're watching the video later on YouTube please hit the like subscribe buttons over there and also leave some comments let me know what you think of the deck if you've been trying the deck out yourself How's it going? And all of that kind of stuff. But there we go. Thanks so much for watching some Azorius Control. 